What's up everybody, it's me Pedro from Judge Day Fitness here today and I haven't been here for like two weeks and I'm really sorry about that, uh, but here's why. Alright guys, first of all, I know I said I had a second channel, uh, Judgment Day Vlogs, where you can go follow me and watch my cancer updates on there. Um, I have changed my mind on that, scratch that, sorry, I'm still figuring out this whole YouTube thing, um, even though I've been doing it over a year. Um, yeah, scratch that. Just follow me on this channel. I'll be giving cancer updates and fitness videos still on this channel. Um, if you don't like that, sorry, just don't watch the cancer videos. Just watch my fitness videos, which I will be putting them out more as I can. I just haven't been able to last week, uh, like I said, I normally would, and most of this week because I have been in the hospital and chemotherapy really drained me of all my energy. Um, but yeah, go follow this channel. Don't follow the other channel. If you have, go ahead and unsubscribe or just you know keep subscribing if you want to. I don't really care. Um, not being rude or anything there, but just, you know. Okay, so anyways, um, yeah, so the first week of chemo, it was, it was odd. Um, the first day, they gave me a steroid, so I really felt great. Not, not like the muscle building steroid, like a feel better steroid, I guess. Um, no nausea at all for the first day. In fact, the first day I felt better than I had felt before I started chemo, which was really weird. And, um, six hours a day, five days a week wasn't anything to look forward to, but, it was it was all right. Um, I tried reading this personal training book, and uh, yeah yeah. The thing was, the steroid made me so hyper that I couldn't focus, and I literally am starting to think I'm ADD at this point. And I'm probably not, but how would I know? Because you know these these chemo drugs and everything is just really screwing me up. For the rest of the week, I felt kind of sick. I have not thrown up at all since I started chemotherapy, and I'm it's. Tuesday, you know, it's Wednesday. I am like five days out from, from chemo, from finishing my first round of chemo. Um, and that was a lot of chemo. One thing I noticed though is that they're giving me more drugs to combat the side effects of chemo than actual chemo drugs. Like they give me, um, so I'm on cisplatin, uh, BP16, and then I'm doing three rounds of bleomycin, and that's the deadly one. Um, bleomycin on day two, day nine, and day 16. And wow, I have a really good memory. Um, so, so the cisplatin will drain your levels of magnesium and potassium. So before they start, they give me a bag of magnesium and a bag of potassium. And then after that, after I finish the cisplatin, they give me more magnesium and potassium. So I have a lot of magnesium and potassium, I guess. I don't know. Um, yeah, so that's not very, very hard. And they give me a lot of nausea stuff. They give me, you know, these, uh, I don't have them in here. They give me these um, Rubisone or something. I don't know. It's they give me a lot of drugs. Okay, I'm like I'm a junkie now. I guess I don't know, just ton of drugs. So first week I felt decent. You know, I just had no energy. I had no appetite. I'm practically water fasting at this point, which is what everyone's suggesting. Which I'll get to that in another video. Um, and it's not really fun. I mean, it's not fun, but it's it's very doable, and it could be a lot worse. Like God forbid, I had this three years ago. Uh, they wouldn't have any of the drugs they have now to combat nausea, and I'd be throwing up, and I'd be bent over a toilet all day. But thank God I'm not. I'm just really no appetite at all. I've already lost uh, May May 26 when the day before my it was the day of my first surgery when I got my testicle cut out. I was 180 pounds, and now I just weighed myself a few minutes ago. I'm 165 pounds, so I've lost 15 pounds already, and I'm expecting to lose maybe another 20, 30 by the end of this. I don't know, because I really don't feel like eating when I'm under this. And even now, and the side effects went away the day after I, like two days after I stopped. Um, the, you know, I really still don't feel like eating. Maybe I have no idea why, but I know that when I'm done with all this chemotherapy, I'm hitting the sauna and I'm going to sweat it all out. Um, so I've been drinking a lot of water. I've been trying to flush it out as much as possible. And that's my side effects, really. Now, I was in the hospital the day after... I finished chemotherapy, my first round. I'm still, I still have a lot to go. But I was in the hospital the day after because um, my port that I had got infected. And here's the, the bandaging from right here. Now, I can't exactly say why it got infected. You can't say, well, at 2.25 a.m., you scratched your chest and therefore bacteria got in. You can't say that. Um, just like you can't say, okay, well, here's exactly why I have cancer, which I can in my case. But in some cases, you can't really say this is exactly why you have cancer. Um... So yeah, so I had to get my port cut out. That was not a fun surgery, that's for sure. I kind of felt it when they were doing it because I had to stay awake for it. And then after it hurt, so I just got some Tylenol. I spent three days in the hospital and it was not fun. Saturday, Sunday, I got the surgery. 
and they kept me until like late Monday. And I'm telling you, I was begging to get out. They did like a fire drill at 5 a.m. and they check your blood pressure and check your blood at odd hours of the night. So that's not really fun, that's for sure. And I'm hoping I never have to go back and spend the night in a hospital again. But God forbid I do. I will keep a positive attitude about it. I promise. And it's 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 not really something I wanted to do, but it was necessary, unfortunately, because as a cancer patient, I'm higher risk. You know, uh, with infection, it's going to hit me a lot harder because I don't have any white blood. I don't have I don't have as many white blood cells as I'd like to. Um, so it could be a lot worse. You know, I could be like ten weeks into chemotherapy and that happened. But thank God I was only, I just finished, and thank goodness I got to finish that, that round of chemotherapy as well. So, really unlucky there. That's just a lot of follow-up appointments. Went to a wound specialist the next day, um, yesterday actually, because today's Wednesday. I got out on Monday. Um, and I'm still, I'm still kind of feeling it. It's, it's, it's weird. I'm still sleep deprived. Maybe it's just the chemo still in me, um, because they say it takes a while for chemo to get out of your system. But I'm still tired as heck. That's why I haven't been doing anything yesterday. I just chilled out. Um, gosh, what else? So I, I keep positive attitude about the whole thing. I'm just going to say the one thing I don't like about this is it's extra time from not lifting. And, you know, now is the time where I need all the kind of comforts and all the kind of, you know, great things I enjoy doing. You know, like if I played video games a lot before this. Sorry. I'm going to kill a gnat. Okay, I got it. Um, so where was I? Yeah, so I really don't like the whole lifting thing. Um, no lifting thing, of course. And because this is going to take me out for two weeks. And then in two weeks when I get my new port in, that's going to take me out for another two weeks. And, you know, it's going to suck, honestly. It's something I really love doing. It's probably something I spend so much, way too much time on, maybe. I don't know. I can't really say it. it's not. It's not bad that you exercise a lot. Where's the, where's the harm in that? Um, but I'm getting through this by keeping two attitudes. Number one, everything is temporary. In four months, I'll be back to normal, except I won't have my hair probably because they say it takes six to eight weeks after chemotherapy start, stops before you get your hair back. Um, and number two, that, you know, it could be so much worse. I could be a quadriplegic. I could have a 5% chance of survival rather than a 95% chance of survival. But, oh well, this is very survivable. This is, you know, you just have to keep the right attitude about this. Your attitude will determine your outcome. I don't know if I've said it before on here, but it is just as true. If you do not have a good attitude about it, your life will be so much worse. I promise you guys. So one really, really, really awesome thing happened on Friday, right before I went to chemo, right before I went to the hospital the next day. And I got to meet my favorite YouTuber, Brandon Myers. You guys should go check out the video. Links in the description below because he filmed the whole thing and I was really shocked. It's kind of like when, um, when someone dresses up as Batman and goes to St. Jude's Children's Hospital, you know. Um, it was really, really sweet of him to do that. And he did it. He, he drove two and a half hours. So please go check out that video and please subscribe to his channel. Really great guy. He's my favorite YouTuber for a reason. And I'm, I'm, I mean it when I say it. You know, like most people are like, oh, I met this YouTuber yesterday. He's my favorite YouTuber now. No, I mean it when I say it. And there's a reason he's a favorite YouTuber. And he's really legit. And you guys need to go check it out. Uh, if you don't, what are you doing? So this video is coming to an end. I want to address one thing. A while ago, when I had like a few hundred subscribers, I said I'm doing a giveaway of a thousand subscribers, hoping that for some reason I'd get a thousand subscribers magically. Um, but we're quickly approaching the 1,000 subscriber mark, and when I hit it, I will be giving away a pull-up bar, all right? And the details of that and how it's going to go down, I'll figure it out when we hit 1,000. First, let's get to 1,000, so give away 1,000 followers. Be sure to subscribe. And that's all for today, guys. I will be releasing a fitness-related video in a few days. Go check out the video where Brennan Myers came and visited me. Go check out my Instagram and Twitter. Go check out his Instagram and Twitter, too. I'll link it down below. And have a great day. I want you to chill. Chop.